Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Laura and today I have like a collective crafty haul. It's quite a bit of stuff because it's I think seven different retailers. Um, so I'm going to try and get through it quickly. If not, I'll split this up into two videos. Um, so we have Dollar General, the resale shop. We have Alley, Pop Shelf. How many is that? Target, Dollar Tree, Amazon, I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> okay, so let's just jump in. I'm just going to grab this first bag, whatever it is. Okay, so this is Dollar Tree. Um, so I'm doing some Halloween crafting right now. Not a ton. I am in a swap, and then I also wanted to kind of do some little extra things to send out in Happy Mail. Um, don't want to have too much glare on here, but this is really cute, like, coated canvas tote bag um and this was only a dollar i believe at dollar general i don't go there very often but i've been seeing people get like super cute things they had really cute bags oh this is two dollars not bad for something that size they have some super cute socks now these are only a dollar so that's better than dollar tree um so these are cute so these are like the vampire lipstick mouths You've got some hearts on there and like some dripping blood and then these super cute ghosties that are all different colors. I like the um, the low cut socks. I prefer these. I don't know if my swap partner prefers these or not, but I got a couple pairs. They did have only one of these jewelry making kits. It says makes two, so I'm assuming the necklace and the bracelet, but it had some cute charms in here. Let me see. And I don't have anything open, so there's going to be a lot of crinkling. Sorry about that. Also going to try and have so much glare. But you can see a little bat down there. Lots of striped beads. I'm not a fan of the pony beads, so I might just keep those for something else. But then you've got some of the um, rubber beads. Got that jack-o'-lantern, spider, boo, skull and crossbones. So yeah, it's got some cute stuff for a dollar, not bad. I have noticed like if you get stuff at Michael's, oh, you know what? I do have some Michael's stuff too. I may have to add in here. Um, they do have the bead kits. To me, they're a bit pricey even when they're on sale. And then they only come with like one or two of the like themed beads. Everything else is like a colored bead um, or charm. Okay, this I thought was fun. So it's a sign, it says pick your poison, but it had these potion bottle dangles. And I thought maybe I could add these to like a tag flip or something. So yeah, I mean, it's already got the hole drilled in there. And if I needed to, I can reuse um, these rings here. So yeah, we already have something similar for the house. So I don't really need that. Um, for extra decor or anything and then this last thing I got so their craft section at the Dollar Tree I'm sorry Dollar General near me isn't that great so um, I did see these tags that I wanted I know I can make them but it's always nice to have some that are already made that already have the whole perfect right okay let's do the resale shop this was a really fun trip there so the resale shop is all like craft and art supplies that people donate and um i don't always find anything that i like there i mean there's usually something that i would like but it would just be adding to my growing collection that i you know didn't really need or didn't really call to me but let me show first the my favorites so <laughs> look at these little tiny like embroidery hoop holiday ornaments so I believe these were from Walmart they marked them to a dollar um, I am a member there so I do get 10% off I keep missing the 30% off days so it's okay <laughs> so how cute are these these are <laughs> my favorite find of the day um, even the girl who checked me out was like wow that's really adorable and these are from 2021. I don't know if they'll have them back again, but if they did, I would definitely buy more of these. Now, these are so cute. 
So these are brads, but they are in the shape of Mickey head balloons. Look at that. Look at that. How stinking adorable. I don't even know where these would have come from, but there's all different colors. And there's plenty in here, so I may share some of this in some happy mail. <laughs> but like, how fun is that? Like, I've never really seen anything like this in any of the like current shops. And these I thought were super fun. So these are like eyelets that you don't need the um, crocodile for. So I mean, you would need a hole punch but let me see if I can open this. I just got my nails done today, so I don't want to ruin them. So here's the outer eyelet part. You'd make your hole punch, stick that in, and then this just goes in the back and snaps. Isn't that neat? And it's not permanent. Like you can take it off, you can reposition it. I thought that was fun. I may look up to see if I can find more of these. Let me see, does this have a year? No, usually stuff has a year on it, but no. How cute! This is going to be really fun to use. And then, so I did get a couple of the Sizzix Bigs dies. These are always nice to have for thicker materials like um, PVC or um, faux leather, definitely chipboard. Um, sorry about the glare, I keep forgetting. Um, but yeah, I thought that was fun. It's got the little ornaments, the light bulb, the um, stocking, and then this was just a little frame. I thought maybe I could use it for shakers or something, but still really nice to have this on hand, and I love the little heart. And then I always have to check out their seam bindings and like trims area. So I found this wide gray seam binding it's like lace, 50 cents. This one, I think it's black. Yeah, just black. I have been wanting to try to make my own crinkled seam binding because I know we all love my scrap cabin, um, but I've been finding a bunch of these um, for super cheap. So it, you know, can't be that hard. And for that much, it's, you know, worth the experiment. And then I thought this was cool. I don't know if this is elastic. Let me see. Oh, it's open here. No, this is not elastic, but it's like a double, I don't even know what you would call it, like double wide kind of trim. That's neat for definitely some Halloween and then even for Christmas coming up. And then I also found this really pretty silver metallic rickrack. That's actually one thing I forgot to look for it at Walmart recently. But yeah, that's nice too for some little embellishments or projects. Okay, let's see what's next. Let's do Pop Shelf. Okay, I was at Pop Shelf recently and they had some new things I hadn't seen before. I really hadn't been there since maybe early in the summer, but I found some really cool things. So these two packs were $2 each. These are chipboard tags. And let me see, let me open these. And like I said, I haven't opened anything so there's gonna be some noise. And of course, none of these have the opening at the bottom. But how fun are these? So there's four of these circles with the hearts. Four of these like banner with a scallop here. And then four of these just regular tags. But how nice, right? Two bucks. I probably should have gotten more of those, but I think I thought that they were more expensive than they really were. And then this was the only set I saw, or the only like color scheme that I saw for this set. Um, I'm not gonna open this, you can kind of see it here. So you've got the three different shapes and then they all have like the gold eyelet accent. So cute, again, $2. Um, they had a bunch of Happy Mail stickers so these were $3 each. And I do believe, I'll show you in a minute, um, the envelopes. Um, I do believe they had the cherries in the Happy Mail envelopes too. 
So not bad for three bucks. You get how many? 32, 32 stickers. So cool. And then they have this Happy Mail um, shipping tape. I don't know what the quality is. I got some from Michaels recently, and this is the Craftsmith brand. That's what a lot of the shipping stuff is. Um, I believe Michaels sells that brand too. But I did buy some, you know what, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open this with my, these nails. I did buy, I think it was the Celebrate It brand from Michaels of the, some like similar tape. Yeah, this really isn't, I don't know, this is more like decorative. I wouldn't like ship something worth money to secure it, but this is really cute. For three bucks, I mean, not bad, right? Okay, these were also three dollars. These were new to me as well. They have these cute bows. Now, it seemed like they had like coordinating items, but I didn't really have a lot of time to look. But I picked the items that I knew that I could use, even if these matched other stuff. Um, I knew for sure I could use these. But how adorable are these? For three bucks, that's not bad. I mean, it takes out a bunch of time for making some of these, like cutting the dies and assembling them. And this, let me actually open this. This was the only new paper pad that I found. Um, so this is 24 sheets of six by six. Um, this is Craft Right, and it's 2024. I don't, I've never heard of that brand. Let's take a look, and I guess it's like Paris themed. How cute! So we've got the Eiffel Tower. Well, that's pretty. Pinks and purples. Love a good polka dot. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this tiny embellishment page. Or like cut apart page. Oh, look at the doggy. Cute little Frenchie. That's so pretty. Love that too. A little bit of vintage. This kind of reminds me of Beetlejuice. <laughs> but it's really good thickness paper. I would say this is probably 64. And you get your macarons. Hearts. More doggies. How cute. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. A cute little scene. Oh, I love this. Looks like a like a Maggie bow there. Oh, hold on. Look at the cheese. <laughs> and the bread. So funny. You've got your coordinating paper. It looks like a like a pink sky. I love these hand-drawn flowers. You've got a border page that is adorable now the prints are kind of tiny more Eiffel Towers different hand-drawn roses I think all of these are different oh a nice bow page gotta love that this looks almost like a wallpaper checkered and then like a vintage blue and white wallpaper almost. And you've got your tickets and tags. Love this. I'm gonna have to go back and get another one of these. And these are perforated. I really like that so you're not having to tear things out from the, you know, the glue that's in the back. More hand-drawn flowers. Ooh la la. And that's it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is a really good deal if you have a pop shelf in your area. So this is also three dollars. Says there. So these are the shipping envelopes. These are kind of small. These are. These are six by eight. So definitely for you know your smaller packages. Um, and then I thought these were so fun. They had several of these, um, but I got the colors that again I knew I was going to use. These remind me of the Maggie Holmes and the crate paper embellishments that you can buy. So these are like the wooden buttons with um, like enamel kind of centers. How fun is that? And you've got some enamel dots here. 
That's cute. These look like buttons. These two here. You can see the little circles in the middle. This one too. Oh yeah, actually the both of these and some hearts. Fun. And then let me see. Oh, you can't see them in there. Oh, but I can open these from the bottom. I wish all packages had their openings at the bottom. I love this matte foil. Oops, a couple of keys there. Ampersand. That one's pretty big. Oh, I like that. It's like distressed, kind of. And this huge butterfly. So, actually, no, I don't remember if I said these two were actually $5 each. That's probably why I didn't get <laughs> all of them. Um, yeah, I thought that was a bit pricey, but these are quite different from the other things that they've carried before. So this is cute. This would actually match the paper pad. So I'm glad I got this. How fun, the little Frenchie again. And the bicycle and then, oh my gosh, it's so tiny. You've got the flowers in both of these, but it's so tiny, the print. I had to take off my glasses to look at it. <laughs> and then again, the enamel dots with mostly buttons. I actually think they're all buttons. I love that. And then these here, let me open this here. Oh, I love this. So these are not matte. These are definitely more foiled or more like shiny compared to these. Like you can see the difference, but I like that. Cause then it is worth like getting different sets cause they're not too similar. The Fleur de Lis, another heart. This is a huge Eiffel Tower. I've never been to Europe, but that would be fun. And another large Rhodes. Very happy with these. Okay, I'm just gonna do Target next, and then I'll finish up in the next video because this is coming close to 20 minutes. Um, so I haven't been to Target in a while. I did find this in the um, Bullseye's Playground. I I don't even remember. This had to have been maybe close to a month ago, but I thought this was too adorable. I love the ombre-ish kind of whatever that is, <laughs> the color. Um, and then the top, I like that it's rubber because then it, it probably won't break off or snap off. But that was only a dollar, not bad. And then these were marked down. I think these were part of like the back to school stuff. These are color mixing ones. Um, they're just like these little acrylic kind of things. And I thought these would be fun to decorate and send, send them either with Happy Mail or um, decorate them up. But yeah, these were marked down to 50 cents, so I grabbed two. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Stay tuned for my next haul. That one is gonna have Allie, Amazon, and a Dollar Tree. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it, but it's, it's a lot of stuff, so. All right, everyone, I hope you are doing well and that you're having a crafty day. Take care, bye-bye.